What's up? It's Monday. Hey, I'm gonna warn you ahead of time, this is gonna make you really fucking upset. And it made me really fucking upset. I went to the vet today, and when we were in the veterinarian's office, there was a kennel next door, and then I could hear, basically what I heard was the animals were being abused. Like, it was blatantly obvious. Like, the, there was somebody who worked there, she was calling them a little bitch, and then I heard, like, a bang, and I heard a dog yelp, and I was getting, like, the vet, and the vet was in there with me at the time, and he didn't say or do anything about it. And I wasn't sure whether to, what to do at that point. So I decided just to kind of leave it and tell somebody tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to have... Jesus, fuck. And in the last eight days, I think I've probably put in close to 70 hours of work. And I mean, I guess that's not too, too bad. I don't know. I'm weird. I like working. But when you throw in like... 13 hour shifts and 11 hour shifts and just most nights I would get you know an average of like three or four hours of sleep at this point I'm just kind of like yeah I haven't really done a whole lot other than that today was my first day off in a couple weeks uh didn't do a whole lot last night I chilled with Sarah for a little bit but I came home early got a good night's sleep um today was actually supposed to be the court date but didn't happen. Uh, the last second, he pleaded guilty to both counts. So, I didn't have to go testify today. And I guess there was a sentencing hearing today. And I, I think, I don't know exactly how it works. He plea bargained or something. And he pled guilty to the two assault counts in exchange for getting the break and enter off. And they aren't going to have, the, like, the, sen the sentencing has been delayed again, but I mean, whatever. Um, and he's going to go through, like, counseling and psychological assessment and stuff like that, which is good. I'm okay with that. Okay, uh, challenge for this week was superpowers. I don't do challenges, but I'm going to start doing them because, I don't know, might be good to do. If I could choose any superpower, it would have to be time travel. And part of me says that because I'm nostalgic, and the other part of me says that because, I don't know, I'd like to see where I'd be in, like, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I think it'd be neat. I feel sort of uninteresting today. I don't really have a whole hell of a lot to talk about. Um, I really have to pee. One thing I did figure out is that if you slow your voice down really, really, really slow, it sounds like creepy as balls. <laughs>